Stark. So we will be going green, and I'm pretty sure it's going to be the rolling start. Jay Anderubla leads us. He will lead us in towards the breaking zone. We've got Fittipaldi next, then it's Phipps, then it's Dewin. Fittipaldi already getting out of shape there, coming on to the start, finish straight, just showing how out of control they are. But this is the first time now they're taking the circuit on at racing speed. So this is their first real challenge at the Silverstone circuit. So hopefully we get them all through in one piece as they hit the anchors coming in towards Village for the first time. Hopefully we get them all through there nice and safely we can see Jack doing in fourth place trying to close in in Yuri Vips in the silver but that was a very controlled start there from Jay Anderubla and he's got a nice gap over Enzo Fittipaldi down the Wellington straight, you can see Drogovic trying to close it off. Vesti thinks he's found a gap down the inside. Is he going to be able to get through? It's going no, to be a battle no. on the brakes now. Vesti goes all the way to the inside. Can he get it stopped in time? Yes, he does. And that's Vesti through into a place, Tom. But it's not over yet. Drogovic trying to get the switch back. What a move that was from Vesti. Once Vesti had his nose up the inside, he was, uh, well, there he is appearing, but it was very, very close to not getting the car stopped and he would have been relieved once he got back on the brake pedal having released it from the initial lock. The, the, the adhesion and the grip was there on the inside line and Drogovic, he's the championship leader. He's got a big advantage. The last thing he wants to do is see that advantage disappear. Well, that was a good move there. We might have just caught the end of that. Jack Doing going down the inside. You would have caught that. Jack Doing going down the inside of Yuri Vips. Great move there from Jack Doing. This was the uh, angle from on board. We saw he just got a great, great run. And Jack Doing uses all of the circuit to get that move done down the inside of Yuri Vips. And that's third place. Vips, well, he's on a travelator to nowhere at the moment because he's dropping back into the clutches of Iwasa. Lawson has just gone past Porcher as well as Fittipaldi dives down the inside of Darubla. He just got a better exit there out of the corner and Fittipaldi is through. This was the move from Enzo Fittipaldi. Well, he, you know, he makes it look very easy just because Jehan Darubla has just got nothing underneath him. And in terms of grip, Enzo Fittipaldi has a whole lot more now Jack Doohan is next. Are we going to see the same move we saw a lap ago? I think we might. Jack Doohan lining one up, but Iwasa is lining one up. There we go. Just like we saw a lap ago, Jack Doohan goes through. He's through into second place. It is really hard to know where to look. There is action absolutely everywhere on circuit. But we see Awasa going round the outside of Vips once more. This is take number two of this. He couldn't do it last time. This time he goes all the way round the outside. Have some of that. Iwasa, the dams driver, is through and up into fourth place. This is Awasa round the outside of Darubla. Iwasa is through and up to third place there. Darubla, his tyres have fallen off a cliff. And this is Jack Doohan just showing, uh, well, Fittipaldi's gone wide here, so Doohan <laughs> snatched the lead. And we're now in a situation where we're just going to have to try and nurse these wet weather tyres and see what happens as Enzo Fittipaldi has made a real horlix of things there at Cops, and that has allowed Iwasa through. So where Fittipaldi has worked his tyres hard, the drop-offs come to him now. Who's that? Is it Hauger? Yeah, I mean, Hauger, the rear tyres on his machine are absolutely shot. And you'll see it in the traction zones coming out of these corners here. Expect Armstrong to pick up the throttle and uh, go all the way around the outside of Hauger. And he's done just that because there's just no way that Hauger can compete with those rear tyres the way they are. And he's still got five laps to go. Here we watch uh, a replay, Marcus Armstrong just takes the wider line and as you said Tom just had much more traction coming out the corner this is for points paying position so Drogovic versus Vesti it is as they make their way up towards left field now we've seen drivers going all the way around the outside but we're going to see a move potentially around the inside Vesti running wide under braking there and that opens the door to Drogovic who says thank you very much and through he goes into sixth position there Tom but I don't think it's over yet Vesti is he going to have the run around the outside no Drogovic holds on and that's sixth place 
here's the Drogovic Daruvalo battle we were talking about. It's for fifth place. Drogovic, we did mention a little earlier, was he saving his tyres? I think the answer to that question was yes, because he's in the toe of the Red Bull Junior. He pulls to the outside of the circuit. Drogovic is going to brave it round the outside where there's more grip. And Drogovic goes through into fifth place just like that. Fantastic driving from your championship leader. 1.2 seconds. Ayumu Awasa can see him, but he's not quite close enough. You can see Jack Doohan is now trying to break the toe. It's under a second as they come into Stowe. He just has to not make a mistake. Ayumu Awasa absolutely flying here. Jack Doohan struggling to hold on to that virtuosi car. Ayumu Awasa closing in on the brakes as they come down towards club. But for the first time in FIA Formula 2, it looks like Jack Doohan is going to cross the line as a race winner. He comes out the final corner and takes the checkered flag. Jack Doohan is a race winner. He's qualified on pole twice. He's been very, very close to winning. This time, he seals the deal. Yes, baby. Thank you guys so much. Thank you so, so much. Awesome, job, guys. Thank you. Awesome job. That was an absolute cracker, wasn't it? Jack Doohan for Virtuosi Racing, taking the sprint race win here at Silverstone. Ayumu Iwasa finishing second here at round seven. Enzo Fittipaldi rounding out the podium. Three different teams represented on the podium. Jack Doohan, the Alpine junior, a race winner now in FIA Formula 2. He's proved himself in qualifying. He's been on pole position twice this season. Now he is a race winner.